Good afternoon, everyone. I'm extremely delighted to welcome to all people present here in this wonderful evening. On the behalf of Deception, I am Progya Sharkar. Today, I'm the host of today's webinar entitled Marketing, Branding and its Tools, organized by Deception. Talking about Deception, Deception is an initiative of Seems Welfare Foundation. Uh, which has developed content for over 300 courses in multiple languages, which range from four hours to six months in various sectors of IT, BFSI, retail, entrepreneurship for all age groups, from school children, youth, professionals, and senior citizens. Resurgsham has also conducted more than 100 webinars, 10 FDPs, and workshops, six international conferences, Desuction impacted more than 15,000 lives through various uh, webinars, conferences, workshops, and seminars across the globe. Talking about webinar, businesses use various marketing tools to communicate uh, information, uh, company information, stimulate customer interest, and motivate action. Types of marketing tools will be discussed. Uh, now, I would like to introduce our guest speaker for today's webinar. Our speaker is Mr. Ashmeet Arora. Mr. Ashmeet Arora is a free spirited entrepreneur who likes to engage in multiple projects and has extensive expertise in uh, marketing, media, and IT industry. He's an academic academician and IIM CSMO mine who is so far academically certified by University of Toronto, King's College, London, IIM Bangalore, Indian School of Business, IIM Lucknow, uh, Convertory University, England, Google, BCG, KPMG, Sydney Romantica, uh, Accenture, among others in business management, entrepreneurship, behavioral, uh, economics, retail management, digital marketing strategy, Consulting data analytics, strategic innovation, business communication, media, SNC, and so forth. He is additionally formed to take part in disparate events and competition, uh, have been conferred with uh, award certifications such as Academic Achiever Award, CK Fund Manager Award, Visual Art Winner, Operational Coordinator, CFC, etc. From various premium bodies, including Ministry of Commerce and Industry, Ministry of Skill Development, Entrepreneurship, uh, Hero Motocross, Delhi University, Flipkart, IIT Madras, Reliance Industry, CK, Mozilla Webmaker, IIM Summer, etc. In terms of experience, he has worked with NLB services as a US IT HR, Sourcing Valley as a senior HR, Feedbody as a creative associate, and uh, CERDF as a marketing associate, now founder and CEO of Spades Asia. Welcome, sir, in today's event on the behalf of the Suction. Okay, thank you so much. First of all, it was a generous introduction. And uh, I also would like to extend my uh, thank you invitation for the uh, for inviting me uh, for the, uh, to the DG Saksham as CMS Welfare Foundation uh, to you, Pragya, and Dishyani and Vandana for making this uh, event and inviting me over here. So we would be starting with uh, marketing, branding, and its tools. And uh, it's demystifying creativity because all this marketing and branding is all about creativity only, how we use our creativity to propagate our message uh, through our, of our product and uh, services. So why marketing and uh, uh, um, branding in the first place? Why is it important? So in layman language, if you want to drive sales, you want to sell your product, you want to uh, propagate your services, then uh, definitely marketing and branding is the thing that you, you, you can do to, uh, to, do, to sell your services and overall generate revenue. And, uh, and uh, in starting with the quote of the Philip Kotler, who is, who is known as a god of marketing, and uh, it's a very famous book, uh, Marketing Management, if you must have heard. So I would be starting with a quote from that book. Good marketing is no accident. It is both an art and science. And marketing is about identifying and, uh, and human and social needs. So marketing is a way, a medium, how you are going to portray to the customers about your about your product or your services or your company how you are going to spread the, about your message that what your company sells what your company is offering or what is your organization's product or service so that is marketing and now moving on to the 
strategies of the marketing now there are different part it 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 might look complex to you but i would i would just uh, divide into further parts first is b2b and then b2c b2b is business to business and b2c is business to customers so b2b is like client to client if uh, one organization suppose uh, like uh, the dg saksham is one organization and another organization is anyone else so if they are co- co- collaborating with them as a business to business and there's no customers or a, a user involved then it is called b2b and b2c is all the different brands we know mcdonalds uh, bisleri nitol or any any brand because they involve customers they are selling their product they are selling their services to the customers so that is the basic difference between the clients and the customers and the target market type it's divided into two parts again uh, uh, the upper part is described uh, with the bluish and orange part with the b2c and the lower part is described by b2b now there are other two terms you you might be uh, uh, watching on the screen the first part is organic and second part is paid organic is the natural uh, uh, people or natural market um, creating a natural marketplace so you don't need to spread your uh, uh, your word by paying anything you're not spending any penny to 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 invite customers to your to your website or to your product uh, a very recent example was uh, the the shark tank participants in, in there is a new show in the in the shark tank uh, in the india in india and many of these new startups are going through organic marketing only because they are uh, having a crunch of the financial crunch of the uh, you know uh, in the market so they use organic they and what is the key to organic uh, marketing is making your product so good that it spreads to word of mouth as as you can screen as you can see on the screen word of mouth is in, it comes to the b2 uh, in the in the organic part because th- there is no money on monetary uh, benefits involved in this if your product is good enough people will come uh, uh, to buy uh, your product through online searching or through like okay this is something good i have heard of heard about this and then they come to your website now this is the and paid is paying something you we pay for the uh, p2c which is paid per click and uh, we pay to the different people to uh, to a marketing agency consultancies that you know propagate our, our, our company's uh, um, website or, or product on on your social channels there's a influencer marketing which comes under both organic and uh, and paid now uh, to not make it most, more more complex i will be segregating into uh, different parts and going one by one first is uh, local marketing local as its name depicts is itself is limited to specific area a specific radius only and uh, uh, one example would be uh, um, one second <clears throat> one example would be any 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 company or for or, or food brand which is located to that particular area they, for example when mcd is now spreaded all over the country but when it started it started started from one place one particular radius and then if they are propagating it in that particular area then that is local marketing and uh, then word of mouth as i already said it's it comes under the uh, uh, under the organic part it's there is no monetary benefit in lo- involved and it it spreads to the good pub- it, it's it's just good publicity of your product if someone likes your product if you if you're using any anything uh, any beverages consuming any product and you like it so you uh, talk to your friends that oh have you heard of this product it's amazing it's really good and then this is called word of mouth you sp- you talk to your friends you talk to your relatives you talk to your uh, your community about specific service that this is good and then it it spreads eventually content marketing one of the famous uh, and uh, trending marketing uh, which is uh, happening uh, examples could be blogging social media and different websites they are, they are publishing content all over email marketing uh you might be receiving different emails from um, different companies uh, like lenskart you have received you, you received this amount of uh, uh, amount credited to your account and they message uh, on your email so you open the email okay what's what's this and they they use catchy phrases that this is something something and you go through it and uh, okay this is something and i need to go through it and uh, that's how email marketing works At- attracting customers through the emails it's a very traditional method and uh, and uh, now it's going to take over with content marketing and other uh, new age modern marketing method but yes this is even uh, uh, very prominent even now now integrated marketing using same message all over the uh, all over the platforms um, one uh, good example would be um, mountain dew so what mountain dew is projecting as a brand is 
that they are adventurous if you have seen their ad there's like they are uh, people are uh, riding bike over the mountain uh, over over the uh, different trucks so they they have spread their message on their water bottle on their on their bottles on the tv ads if the if you go through the website it projects the image of adventure of of taking something that if you are consuming mountain dew then you are doing something uh, out of the world so that is example of integrated marketing marketing spreading a simple message or 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 catchy message all over the platform uh, a uniform um, a message influencer marketing there is many different youtuber bloggers uh, instagram influencers uh, like kyle ka kyle or or in india there is a mumbai ka nikhil so brands like for example mumbai ka nikhil is a is a person who drives his bike all over the india and uh, do trekking and and different stuff just and vlog that his journey uh, he sees for example he's traveling from mumbai to delhi so he via bike so he makes vlog of that and uh, there is in dubai there is a more vlogs so people like di- of different brands who are in in case of mumbai Nik- mumbai ka nikhil uh, any bike company let's say harley davidson will approach him that please uh, please spread a good message of our brand harley davidson and th- through your vlogs there is more vlogs in mumbai so he uh, different car like Lem- he he uses different cars brand and 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 see and, and show the message that, that there is li- rich lifestyle in dubai and how they they you know uh, what day day or day activities look like of a rich person in in dubai and 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 a luxury lifestyle so different car brands like bugatti or or say lamborghini will approach him to use their services and uh, and spread good word of their company through through the influence he have over over the different social media that is influencer marketing performance marketing um, is when uh, there is there is that performance of your uh, product is amazing so you do a, uh, you are doing a good amount of uh, 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 and and you are doing you are selling any product and uh, the performance the uh, that product has is is enormous is amazing so that is how you spread your message that see this is how competent our product is and you should use our product now uh, very basic is the four p's of marketing the the elephant in the room everybody once uh, while studying about the marketing has, has has come through these terms what is four p's of marketing and uh, so these terms are product place price and promotion the very fundamentals of the marketing is on the uh, is placed on these four p's the first one is product earlier the product was the main term and the only term which was there and everything everything comes to used to come under this umbrella only but then there is uh, proper marketing channel propagating and then further segmentation of different uh, of different by different companies and services so they were divided into four p's and later there were seven p's as well now i i don't think they are going to stop it here the marketing consultant i'm going to make it 6 to 12 to 18 but uh, but as of now let's uh, let's go through the 4 p's and 7 p's only the first one is uh, 4 p the first 4 p of um, uh, uh, marketing mix is product what is quality of your product how good your product is uh, 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 to the customers what brand uh, 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 what brand building are you uh, are you going to make uh, through this product then warranty comes uh, under product as well services and supplies Just give me a second yeah so services and 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 support because you are selling something you it it doesn't end there you it's your responsibility is a complete cycle you have to take care of service for example any car man tesla is selling their cars so you, their their responsibility doesn't end there their warranty their their services the after sales it is all the cycle it all comes under under the cycle of the product only if the suppose i am buying a tesla car and it seems fabulous to me oh my god this is amazing this is a dream car but i am not able to get a recharge station at every every 2 to 3 kilometers then i won't be uh, loyal to that customers loyal to that brand that i am not able to maintain a good relationship with this uh, this, this tesla so that is very important service and support is the backbone of any product then packaging this comes under the fmcg this is a very prominent factor in the fmcg uh, some it, there is a different brand name paperbot so their their uh, the whole branding is based on their packaging and how the the main uh, uh, selling factor was their packaging only they they had a very attractive uh, packing and uh, and it sells itself just because of their packaging factor 
So again, that is why product, uh, the packaging part in product is important. So quality, brand, friendly, service, and packaging. This is the main fundamentals of product. Moving on is the price. Um, there are many markets like in, in Pakistan, India, and mostly Asian, um, mostly Asian countries look at the price factor as a, as a main factor, um, make or break for the brand. Uh, there was a famous brand Paleji. It, it, it used to sell just because of the, the price. People used to uh, uh, compensate with, with the basic snacks of their, uh, of their evening tea with the Paleji. They don't say, I want to have biscuits. They say, I want to have Paleji because it was cheap. It was uh, quality-wise, it was perfect. And it was accommodated to the, as per the Indian taste. So there is price is very important factor. Now, what under what comes under the price? Now, first factor, first factor is discounts. Uh, every open any website, uh, say Amazon, uh, um, Alibaba, or, or Flipkart. First thing you see is this discount, this sales, this uh, this uh, uh, summer sale. There is Christmas sales and everything. Discounting promotes a message that there is something you are getting a return on in, in investment. You are paying a certain amount and for the services, but you are getting now at a discounted price, at a lesser price. So it attracts customers that okay, uh, at this at, uh, now I'm getting something on a on a lesser price. So it 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 increases the brand awareness and 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 helps in selling of the product. Now is payment period and uh, carry terms, list price and bundling. Bundling is something uh, add this to your cart whenever we op- order something on, on any food delivery app. It says uh, add something. The, you are having pizza. Add a low, uh, chocolate lava cake. So you know there, this this is bundling of product. Selling one product and offering other product as a as a substitute of that. When we order through an e-commerce website, they offer something else as well. You are buying a, 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 sh- a shoes from any any uh, say Amazon. Then it it suggests you to buy socks as well. You are buying a mobile phone. They offer mobile covers as well. So. This bundling helps in increasing the the overall price of the of the cart value, and hence uh, helps he- and hence helps the product. Again, as I said, um, product is an umbrella term, and everything more or less comes under this only and helps in the marketing. And then place, uh, the place comes with the factors of retailing, wholesale, uh, direct sales, e-commerce, and distribution. Why place is important? Uh, pizza say pizza 30 minutes delivery and uh, everything was like every company every pizza company was now uh, following the same strategy then there is app like dunzo uh, uh, 10 minutes delivery of groceries earlier there was delivery in one hour then it come come down to 30 minutes now 10 minutes delivery i'm not sure how future of delivery would look like with the pace uh, different startups are getting and how they are managing by uh, maintaining a, a, a different warehouses in every state by uh, main, in, in if there is a food item then there is a cloud kitchen term that they are using different brands are using cloud kitchen as their main strategy to to you know, you know spread the uh, fast delivery method and to pace down all the different uh, things that come in between uh, their their way of delivery now moving to the promotion part uh, promotion uh, i believe you must be uh, sometimes you get irritated you are going through any youtube video then there is a 30 second ad and you're like uh, where is the skip button so that is promotion and uh, and a very important part of marketing and what comes under the promotion is advertising uh, placing special offers discounting again uh, part of the promotion and and it, these all are ter- these old terms product pl- uh, price place promotions are sometimes overlapped sometimes distinguished so don't get confused between this they are many they are overlapping overlapping and integrated at many times and digital marketing and i would be touching upon the digital marketing at the later part as well and uh, leaflets and posters for this time okay it's already 425 i need to pace up now seven p's as i said they were earlier product then it yeah, it, it spread it to four p's now there's seven p's i hope there are more p's as well and uh, now the i already explained the first four uh, moving to the place where do uh, people uh, pur- uh, purchase our product or, or services there is a website where we all uh, do google search and and search for a, per- a particular website of a company then there are marketplaces uh, Market example is already given Amazon, eBay, Alibaba, Flipkart, retail stores. You go to Apple Store, you go to Puma, you go to uh, Pantaloons. 
all are these retail experiences that we are have malls and we want to experience them in person we are going out with family friends and want we want to see how products look like in a real life and it's very uh, prominent in the uh, part of the clothing uh, majorly then there are international exports wholesale uh, wholesale and resellers resellers also is very uh, there are many companies who who are who have built their uh, company them, themselves on the uh, on the reselling model for example uh, olx a very famous uh, company and uh, their model is just reselling uh, cardeco.com and ma- many more now people why should we hire and how should we act like that and uh, any any company have their employees founder their culture uh, uh, customer service and training uh, example of people would be tata tata is one of the leading company and 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 have uh, employee and workforce uh, i guess they have around 3 lakh and 25000 something that they are expanding or i just read in the news that they are spending their uh, their man for uh, their manpower to uh, to the global level and and now hiring from various countries that they were never uh, you know part of and we have that image of that that company that they have a certain culture and then there is process standardization measurement delivery complaint handling response time and r&d uh, and, and the process is very important because if you are not getting a services in a, in a particular time as i said uh, uh, the pizza delivery or, or or the food delivery then customer would not be satisfied with the particular product now the last would be physical evidence uh, that would be offices packaging equipment is just extension of the earlier four piece but they have segregated to make it more understanding to the marketing consultants and the marketing people who want to get a deep understanding of what a product look like or what how they should spread their message of marketing and uh, the physical evidence is mostly used for the for the companies like um, say subway say dominos because they want to feel the ambience of the place they are having they they, they, they want to have a meal in uh, you must have seen if you go to a good luxurious uh, luxurious restaurant they have a certain musical uh, a tone playing in in their uh, in their ambience then there is uh, they have team restaurants so you must have seen there is like wooden uh, wooden structure all over uh, in malls we see uh, christmas tree when there is there the christmas is coming Di- diwali lightning when when there is uh, the function of diwali so physical evidence provides make the customers more more attracted towards the the services or the product now uh, moving to the brand the second part of the of the this lecture brand is not defined by companies there is a perception that okay this is a good logo so this is a good brand logo and all these things is not brand this is part of brand and let me move forward so brand is defined by com- not defined by companies public or or when anything else it is defined by individual what i perceive of 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 any company what gut feeling do i have for example nike and fast track when we think of nike we think about the players uh, uh, using the nike sports shoes and and playing in the field when we think about fast track there's there's image of the uh, glasses and uh, uh, another image is another, another example is nokia Nokia projected their image there is a there were memes that they are in dust in dust destructible products and they are using in, in in case of hammer so so they make their image as like that only Rolex Rolex is a is a symbol of luxury they they show the same time as as the other normal brand or any other company so what makes them different their branding makes it different when a person is wearing Rolex they don't need to say anything they they just see the brand that they that person is wearing rolex and it automatically projects that this is this this person is wearing a luxury the, this person is holding a brand so that is what it creates you make you you st- give a statement itself that this is we are and the, the main difference between uh, marketing and branding is branding is a positioning before you uh, spread your message through different marketing channels through different marketing mix and everything the company need to introspect they think about what position they need to place their brand in apple steve jobs uh, before even going to the marketing part he thought where should we place our brand in he he wanted to make a unique brand he wanted to make a brand which symbolizes creativity and 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 innovation so he placed his brand there at that that point then he eventually moved to the marketing part 
like how now this brand should be reaching to the every customers in 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 the country or in the, in the world so that the marketing the branding come first the positioning where you want to uh, uh, place your uh, product or service or company is company then you move to the marketing part then that okay this is where we stand this is what we want to do this is our aim mission and vision now how we are going to reach to the customers and that is where marketing comes in and that is the main, main difference this is overlapping again overlapping at times and but the main difference if you want to segregate these bifurcate these uh, two terms that is the main difference but why is branding important uh, everyone talks about um, branding like this is a, such a huge issue it is because if you want to get edge over the other competitors if you want to stand out of the market uh, there are too many options name any anything if you are looking for shoes you have adidas you have puma you have nike but which brand you want to go for and these are the main three players i'm talking about if you uh, talk about overall uh, uh, this sport shoes brand or, or the shoes brand you have like thousand lakhs and uh, and, and, uh, and lakhs of company but which brand are you going for so that is why branding is important like if you are positioning it is some somewhere else that no one else is there at that place then you are over you are obviously getting edge and you are uh, you know making a place in, in the in the world that this is where we stand um and i will give you example uh, before moving on uh, to build trust with the customers and the example would be uh, the dell the intel intel inside uh, and uh, there was make, make famous campaign of theirs so now it, if a person is buy, buying a, a laptop so they see okay this is intel core i5 and and with a 500 5200u so they know that this is uh, they trust intel over over any other uh, processor or they trust the brand of like dell and and the first part i talked about is edge over others samsung and motorola is, is one example uh, i hope many of you uh, uh, know of samsung uh, the flip form flip forms they have they have come with, up with and uh, there's one more samsung fold so what they did what they they did they, they did their uh, branding as innovative they were they were uh, uh, creative with that part and that that made them stand out from other uh, other uh, you know competitors in the same space the last part would be to become a go to place of customers in, in us if you are going for or for something healthy you are looking for an alternate which is a healthier option which is uh, good for in in the breakfast section and uh, you want uh, you want fast food but you want it in in a healthy in a healthy format so subway is there they they made their space like this then then can donuts then if starbucks for the coffee so make your brand like this that if if you are thinking about something think about coffee thinking about uh, uh, getting uh, getting a healthy meal then automatically name of subway or, or starbucks comes to your mind projecting it uh, as i said in the very first part of the branding it's the perceived image uh, of any particular company uh, or the gut feeling of the of, of any individual for any particular brand so if you are thinking of any any company as that image for example as i said uh, um, coffee if you are thinking oh i want to get a coffee so starbucks if you if the name of starbucks is coming to your mind then they are successful in their branding they have made their uh, uh, they have they've spread their message what they wanted to that if the person think, thinks about coffee then they they uh, think about starbucks and that is why branding is important now how to build a brand you know brand uh, branding is important you know you have to build a brand but how to do it so stand out be different uh, apple uh, i'm a big fan of apple's uh, marketing and branding strategy so you are going to hear a lot of example of of the apple and uh, the example of standing out is is um, there is a famous case they have not in the ipad they don't have calculators for a long long time and uh, and the reason the reason behind it was because steve jobs was not comfortable with the in- interface he didn't he didn't just wanted to put it in, in in the ipad just because it's a utility but he wanted that it should be a apple way of 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 the calculators interface ipad ipods there are numerous example of standing out that apple has, uh, has has done in the market now there's like we know two different segments of the phones there is android then there is apple we don't say ios we say apple and and of course ios is interface of apple but they have made their image and branding position that we, that that its name in itself resonates with a different altogether a different space now be creative 
McDonald's, one of the famous brand, which is which always impresses the people with the the different branding techniques that they come up with. This is, by the way, the on the right side, it's a gorilla marketing ad of of the McDonald's. They they use the uh, uh, street marketing and uh, uh, with their this their creativity. But the the part I I, I wrote it uh, McDonald's was because of the speedy system they introduced. They they see that there's a potential that people waste a lot of time in in the standing in the queue and then taking their meal away. So they made a uh, made a chain chain like this that people comes and and uh, I guess there was zero point no no three seconds something automatic system that uh, a burgers a burger was made in in that particular time frame and uh, hence there was no queue and people were enjoying it because they they were getting late for the office they were just grabbing the meal and and running away. And now many other companies started following it. So they be creative uh, and and to to move in that uh, space that they are the first one to introduce this, so they get an edge. Be innovative, be fast. You need to be innovative and you need to be fast uh, in this fast paced moving world. Philips is is one of the major examples. They they used to sell the LED bulbs uh, in, in before two thousand four or five, and there were other companies doing the same as well. But the main difference between the Philips and others is their main selling product was uh, uh, the bulbs only. But because they wanted to introduce LED, they see the potential of the LED. So they introduce, they kill their main product, their flagship product, their main uh, source of income. 60 to 65 percent was the main income that was they were driving their sale factor uh, from the uh, from the bulbs. But because they wanted to introduce the innovation. They 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 came up with uh, the LED and they dismantled all their factories uh, that, that was making bulbs and and their their outlets and replaced it with the LED and it was a big risk they they took and and they knew if they are not going to come up with uh, with the with the LED then any any other company will and they will take away their their market share so you need to be smart you need to be innovative and you need to be fast aim this is the most important and and this is the last part of the funnel. That aim, you should, your aim of the uh, ultimate aim of the branding should be to replace the the your product or services with your, uh, your replace the brand name with that particular um, uh, product or services. Example is Xerox, Google, or Photoshop. We we now use Xerox as uh, please do these five Xerox of the uh, you know this page, but it's a brand. We don't say that search something on the on on the Google console. We say Google Carlo. Google, please Google the you know, this term. We don't say edit this. We say this is Photoshop. We don't say this is edited in the Photoshop, in, in the Adobe Photoshop. So this name, this, these brands have they created something that resonates with the product itself. People now think this is the product only. Okay, moving forward. Now marketing tools. And uh, what are the marketing tools and why they are used? So what are the marketing tools? Are they are techniques, system, strategies, resources, or technology? Anything which uh, these tools can be used individually or uh, or collaborated or in, in integrated manner to propagate your message, product or services. So all these are these can be used as a club uh, resource or or or, or differently with the main aim to market your product in in the in the in the ecosystem of the uh, our market. And if you talk about which tools, then they are plethora of tools available you search for any one one tool of anything you want to write blogs there are hundreds of blogging tools like uh, hubspot wordpress and and uh, if you want to um, go for seo ranking then there is google there is woo rank there is seo site crawling so this is something i i took from smart insights and uh, you can go through all these different tools and you will get exactly what you're looking for if you're looking through you're looking for something to uh, uh, spread your message through uh, social media. Then there are different uh, softwares and tools mentioned here. If you want to look for online customer service tools, e-commerce tools, digital analytics tools, or, or uh, content creation, then there is uh, all, all these tools are mentioned here. I will give some examples as well so that you can have a clear insights. Common marketing tools are way how you can uh, 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 you can propagate the message is first print advert uh, advertising that is newspaper ads we see the front page uh, uh, front page with the with the uh, section of the different uh, companies spreading the message that this is diwali sales this is a christmas sales and and then uh, you know they they send a message that this is how you can access this then digital marketing 
anything in the digital space so anything you want to uh, you know market your product but happening over digital over over the internet is digital marketing seo which sometimes i use interchangeably with with the digital marketing but they are different seo is search engine optimization which means how you are going to place uh, your uh, for example you search um uh, for uh, say any company you search for nike you you and and then there are different com- product comes uh, different websites coming on but if you are particular uh, my company name is spades asia so if i'm writing spades asia on the google if my my company name my company's website is coming on the 10th rank then my seo ranking is 10 so there are nine other companies who st- who have strong seo which is their their optimization methods and hence they are above me in the in the google search console so that is seo to rank higher in, in, in the in the in the search results and then there is social media marketing we all know this there are beauty influencers there are sports influencers there is there are, um uh, all sort of influence, influencers on the social media and and they do a uh, do a post and you won't believe people get uh, millions of dollars for just one post or story on on, on their social media and one of the major uh, the platforms which which is used for is, is instagram now youtube as well but main, main majorly instagram then press releases this is for the mostly for the big companies commercial advertising you are you are going through a netflix and then there's a there is an ad coming on and then uh, you know you move forward there are tv ads there is radio this is all a commercial advertising space even youtube comes under this uh, uh, youtube ads customer loyalty programs specifically in the in the airline industry this is a very common thing that you know you have accommodated 50 points now you can use it on, on your further flights and everything brand reputation management are reviews if you are searching for a book or or uh, or say you like some some mattress on you want to buy a mattress online so you search on amazon for a particular ma- uh, uh, mattress and then you search for the reviews okay four star re- uh, re- uh, ratings is there then some people wrote that this is a really nice product but there is someone mentioning that this product was faulty so you don't want to buy that so that is how you maintain a good brand reputation online or 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 uh, in offline as well so this is a brand reputation management the last would be event uh, marketing uh i was recently watching a, a, a the snowboarding show and they have like big advertisement of of uh, audi and then red bull also do a uh, similar kind of advertisement uh, uh, or marketing methods they use like uh, 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 one example was there was a paragliding when reverse paragliding so they what they did, did was uh, people who were already uh, flying in the air uh, overboarded a plane uh, just in in the air space only and they propagated message of red bull through that uh, uh range rover uh, did sim- similar things with with their car they they placed a giant speed breaker in in the streets of the new york and then uh, uh, crossed the range rover uh, through through that breaker and that was one of the methods the company use as as the uh, the common marketing tool of course there are other marketing tools as well there are like n n number of uh, uh, such tools existing uh, like i showed in the, this space so this is just one of the tools and and the methods that the company use now digital marketing uh, very important very common and and i believe this is the future now uh, advertising anything online is digital marketing i already said it but uh what comes under is content mobile digital strategy seo or or social media all comes under this this space of digital marketing now few common tools there are other tools as well but the few common tools as, uh, i would like to give you example so that you can get a better uh, understanding of of the uh, such tools canva uh, one of my favorites this presentation itself i have made on the uh, canva only uh, there's other software as well for making presentation like uh, powerpoint uh, w ps but canva stands out because of the smart templates they already offer and and the infographics they we can use uh, in our uh, in our presentation but what other things we can use it for for we can use it to even make instagram reels uh, uh, advertisements facebook ads uh, print products t-shirts merchandises social media and uh, brochures posters everything so i i really uh, uh, recommend this that you should try canva once uh, it would be really helpful for anything you want to do now picture chart would be next uh, this is majorly used for creating uh, uh, attractive infographics 
different companies like uh, fin shorts use use similar products uh, and services so that they can present their data points in in a more comprehensive and easy way so that user can easily understand what what statistics uh, the company wants to show and uh, we can uh, make uh, reports flyer poster uh, uh, on this picto chart next would be wordpress very easy very important and uh, everyone should learn how to use wordpress if you want to go for it's free as well it's a free tool there is paid version available but there is free version as well and uh, why i re i'm recommending wordpress as the main tool because uh, it is seo friendly there are different plugins uh, that that you can integrate in the in the wordpress uh, for the seo for example uh, uh, use seo monster and uh, different uh, 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 plugins that you can you know just add by clicking just one click uh, on the in elementor it's easy to use because there is no code uh, on this there is coding but you can make a good website a good website on on this without any code at all uh, there are presets uh, hundreds uh, of templates already available and you can just you know make one um, i guess this is the last tool this is Buzzsumo, used for making successful content uh, and how to you if you want to see what impressions a content hold on on the social media for example you can see facebook engagements linkedin share twitter share on uh, this app and uh, you can see that as well that what is the reach this particular uh, you know content is getting uh, um, you are working in a sportswear company and they, you want to see uh, that where the most protein are selling so if you search for protein then you will see that this kind of post is trending this is place where this is trending and uh, and uh, people are searching for this and this content has maximum maximum uh, uh, impressions so you will also create similar content to make your uh, to market your message to market your company uh, uh, or your sports wear or anything you are uh, you're uh, you know you're, you're branding it uh, on, on a better way so Basumo is also very uh, creative and smart tool this is a few of the book recommendations this is actually a screenshot of my own website I, I was i was i had put it on the on my website and uh, if you're starting to learn management and marketing i would recommend the philip kotler and then later on you can uh, read the further books in, in any uh, no specific order they all are amazing books and you will get a great insights of, from all these uh, uh, set of books and that would be it i hope i made you uh, let understand a little few concepts uh, thank you said was so enlightening and thank you for giving your uh, precious time and sharing your knowledge with us